Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be bringing one more uh, exciting video for all of you all. So, uh, and the video is all about the Whisper, uh, which is yet another uh, 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 speech recognition system, uh, which is uh, from the OpenAI. Uh, and today we'll see how we can leverage uh, Whisper to uh, convert speech uh, to text. So what will happen is uh, uh, it, it will be capable of uh, converting the speech, whatever we'll be speaking into the text. So we'll see uh, some of the details. Uh, for the details, we can go to the platform.openai.com. And here uh, in the documentation part, we we have this piece to text and basically uh, to explain uh, this uh, speech to text API, it has basically two endpoints, which is transcriptions and translations. So uh, and uh, the whisper model itself uses these two uh, endpoints uh, and it also explains MP3, MP4, MPG mpga M m4a web and webm so uh, what are what are these transcriptions so basically transcription api uh, it takes the input uh, like api takes the input of the audio file and transcribe uh, the output file in a in a specific format so uh, since it's speech to text so it will uh, take the audio uh, as an input and will return a text so uh, to see the uh, to the power automate once and what i have done here is i have created a custom connector so you can just create a, a connector from blank okay i'll just show you what i have uh, created and what i have added in this uh, connector so here uh, you can upload an icon uh, for the connector uh, then we have to select the scheme as HTTPS and we have to type the host name as api.openai.com. Then we'll be moving on to the security part. In this security part, we have to mention API key over here and parameter label will be also API key. Parameter name will be authorization and parameter location is header. Moving on to the definition part, uh, here we have uh, a general section where we have to just write a sum summary of uh, what the uh, uh, the actual functionality name and uh, then we have to write an operation ID. So this is the operation ID which is speech to text. Okay, then uh, we have to in the request section we have to click on import from sample and we have to mention this uh, URL in here. We have to use the post uh, method here and in the headers we will be uh, mentioning this. So after this we can uh, mention the content type okay uh, and content type after mentioning the content type uh, we need to mention that what will be the uh, response. So in our case, the response will be text. Okay. So this is uh, the configuration that we have to mention in the definition part. Then we have to go to the swagger editor. In the swagger editor, we have to add these lines. Like uh, we will expect three parameters, uh, which will be file, file name and model. So we will have to mention uh, these lines and also we have to mention uh, that it would consume multi-part uh, slash form data. Okay, once this is done, we can close this and we can uh, click on this connector, update connector or create connector. Uh, it is showing update connector because the connector is already created in my case. Then let's see how we can leverage this connector in uh, Canvas app. For that, I have to create a new canvas app and in the canvas app, I have to place one, uh, uh, one particular microphone control uh, and one button 
uh, which will be called as speech to text and one label which will be showing the uh, speech to text conversion uh, on this canvas app so uh, just let's see quickly what we have uh, written in this so microphone uh, control is there and then in the button what we have written is uh, we are basically getting the response from the ai connector which is the custom connector and before that one more thing uh, we have to add uh, in the data we have to add the ai connector and we have to mention the api key uh, once we add this ai connector over here so that can be that can be uh, fetched the key api key can be fetched from uh, uh, this uh, uh, this open ai okay once you log in and in the AP, api keys you can uh, uh, see the keys okay so uh, we have we are using the ai connector dot speech to text now speech to text is the same thing that we that we did in the connector okay uh, that we added in the connector so here we added in the definition uh, is the action that we added okay so uh, speech to text and then uh, we will be passing uh, different parameters like microphone dot audio so audio property will fetch the sound uh, that will be uh, like uh, that uh, a user will speak uh, in the uh, by pressing the microphone uh, control then uh, we have to save the file file name which is audio and in this case uh, the audio extension will be wbmp okay then the model and the whisper uh, uses whisper hyphen uh, uh, one model okay and then the content type which is the last parameter it will be used as multi-part uh, form data uh, slash form hyphen data okay so this is what we are uh, uh, using in the as a code okay now let's uh, and also one more thing uh, the label text i have set here as uh, the content language as uh, uh, us because sometimes it it uh, translates into uh, different languages like uh, hindi or other languages based on your uh, browser settings okay so let's see uh, this particular demo in action now i'll press the play button speech to text conversion with canvas app i'll have to stop and then click on the button you see here so this way uh, we can leverage this uh, particular uh, whisper uh, by creating uh, a custom connector and using it in canvas app okay and uh, also there is one more thing we can also embed uh, this canvas app within teams so what i have done here is i have i have uh, uh, added this canvas app uh, in the teams okay you can see here uh, okay since i have added so it, it is not showing me because it's already added over here so uh if i see i can just enable the media location and media device uh, over here and then again refresh and i can again uh, convert the speech to text hello this is speech to text conversion so this way uh, it's a very useful uh, uh, functionality that can be used or leveraged uh, within the canvas app so yeah that's it about the video and uh, maybe if you have any queries or comments you can mention in the comment section okay thank you thank you so much